What's up, everybody? So, I haven't did a video in a while, but I just wanted to give an update on the old 85 Evo. Uh, I've been riding it back and forth to work. Put a couple hundred miles on it already. And, uh, man, I'm loving it. Uh, it's turned out to be a really good solid bike man especially for as old as it is that's an old harley davidson brass plate that i found at a shop or a swap meet a few years back with a good friend of mine and uh same with same with that right there king of the highway i found that on the internet somewhere but but she's running good man Everything's working perfect on it. I never knew you got to hold these blinkers in to get, uh, you know, you got to hold them. You can't just hit it like the newer bikes. But I remember when I first got my bike back that one day, I was like, man, I ain't got no blinkers. But they work good. Nice tombstone. Tail light looking really good back there. JHP96. I don't know why people cover up their tags. Uh, I really ain't got no need to cover mine up. JHP, like just Harley Putton. <laughs> I don't know what the 96 would be. Maybe wishing I had a 96 inch up in there instead of the 80. I don't know. But anyway, I've nicknamed her Cherry Sherry. You know, it's got black cherry paint and, uh, yeah, she's doing good. Man, Scooter Tramp Scotty made me fall in love with the old electric glides. If anybody's hip to him, he's got a YouTube channel. And uh, shout out to Scooter Tramp. That's why I got this is my my lock system. I took the fork lock out of this thing because it was it was busted or whatever. So this right here just goes on a rotor. And, and it will go off if I start the bike. Well, actually, oh, it stopped. If I start this bike up, though, it'll do that beep, 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 beep for a few minutes. Then it'll just go full-blown alarm, loud. I can't believe how loud it is. But uh, that's my little lock system. But, yeah, man, I'm at work, obviously. I just wanted to come out and... I just wanted to come out and... Uh, just do a real quick video on the old electric glide that I put back together with the help of Kent Cycle and a few buddies over over the last three, three and a half years. But I drugged this thing out of the woods, literally. It had an old beat up tarp on it. It didn't have no body parts or just the motor, the transit, tranny, the wheels. Front end was all broken down. Bent, it, she looked bow-legged, man. Bent fork tubes and so the whole front end's new. I think the only thing that I want to do with this bad baby is uh, I need to fix these back, these back uh, passenger footrest. But the only other thing I'm gonna do to this, I got, well, I actually got a nice backrest I'm getting ready to put on her. And it, it goes, uh, the frame of it goes from the fender, it's chrome and it, and it attaches up under the seat somewhere and it comes out to about right here. And then I ordered a 13 inch, uh, just a nice round bar, comes up to a little point and bends back a little bit. Just something so the missus can feel safe, you know. Uh, but I wanna get this thing pinstriped. Uh, everything's, everything's, all my accent pieces is like gold and all that. Like right over right there, see it's got the gold, old emblem, but. I'm thinking I want to get it not a lot of pinstripe like a chopper wood or something just you know a little bit on the lids and around the corner you know marking the corners a little bit on the fenders and you know just a little bit like right up here on the tank you know a few little swirlies and some nice pretty pinstriping but I want to do it in gold and I don't know what the other color would be like either black or white I thought about or orange you know golden orange like match that i don't know but <laughs> i want to try to i'm, I'm going to keep the bike original for sure it's taken a while to get used to these handlebars but i just got them adjusted yesterday and pulled them back a little bit they seem to be doing a lot better so so yeah man 
uh, I polished on this old thing with some Mothers and some Harley Davidson polish. Uh, I, I, I rubbed on this thing for a whole weekend a while back and almost brought it back to life. I love it, man. I love it. It's so old school. Every, all this reminds me of my, my dad, my uncle, and all their buddies. So, anyway, uh, peace to everybody out there. I know our world's going crazy right now. Uh, this is the only thing I look forward to is riding to and from work. And and I'm looking forward to getting a few rides in. But, but yeah. Oh, I know what I was going to say. The other only other thing I want to do this thing drastically, you know, switch it out, is I want to take them shocks off there, the air shocks. And I want to lower, lower it about an inch and a half just so my feet can, uh, you know, feel a little bit more comfortable down there. But... I believe that's it. I got some. I got some old school highway pegs, but I need to get the attachments put up on there. And uh, yeah, these right here, it just won't stay up when I push them like that. Like they just come right back down and it hits my shin. But it's because this right here, uh, I bought that off the internet. But it's for the newer bikes. I need something early, you know, to where to where it goes down in there a little bit more i don't know little shit like that i gotta figure out i had the fish tails on here and it sounded good i'm not gonna lie it's loud and all that but mechanic told me i was losing i don't know 20 25 percent of my performance on it something like that and uh, uh it was really obnoxiously loud but this right here these these uh try to think what these are shark roads i think i can't remember the name of these but these this exhaust sounds really really good uh there's a video up on there where i did a uh a sound check with the fish tails and then these but man i'm just happy to be alive but hey i i wish everybody love peace and and a lot of riding and wind therapy out there you guys and uh thanks for looking at my channel and uh god bless everybody man peace out